Okay, so this is the last section. Uh, probably it's also mostly difficult section. Uh, you have no question? Do you have a question? <laughs> Okay. Because I find that my knee only bend, my arm is not quite out yet. Mm -hmm. Because, we, because it, when we do a lot of stuff right here, right? We got chain body, rotate arms, and I also we start bending knee. By the time I finish that, almost half done. Then by the time I bend my knee, my arm is not completely out yet. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what my timing problem is. Do we just chain the body, rotate arm, and then we bend knee, or we do all at the same time? All same bending time. knee, bending knee, and chain body. Also you know. Time. Turn right like this. Yeah. Turn left like this. Okay, so you you use a little bit of faster motion. So I took too much time to do this circle right here. Probably. Yeah. So uh, you need to make a coordination. Right, left, clear. Okay. Okay. So sometimes when do it slow, actually it's harder to coordinate. Mm -hmm. uh, if you cannot make a coordination correct, use a little bit of faster motion to make the coordination correct. Then you know, slow down again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's actually probably is one of the reason many people will finish ending posture, mm -hmm. the yeah. knee is bending too much because yeah. they, they are in here, the leg is already finished but the arm is still not there yet. Yeah. They have yeah. to keep yeah. moving, keep yeah. moving, keep moving, then you know, bending too much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other question? Uh, this movement. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we need to clear about uh, uh, this circling. First, we use which part of the joint. So from here, before your foot touching ground, arms don't change. This is the same as before. Okay. When your foot touching ground, start shift weight, body turning, you use shoulder as basically circle point. Okay. So shoulder is a circle point. But your body do turn to the right. Okay, next, when you start bending your knee, you rotate arm, bending arm, and shooting out, go one time. Okay, so this is uh, uh, arm circling. Now, arm circling, you need to pay attention for what? First, circle right, you the shoulder. You the shoulder. Circle left, right arm basically still is a shoulder because this is just like the striking tiger, right? You still basically use the shoulder, make a big circle, uh, strike, punch. The left arm here, we have a little bit of different. Okay, so from here, you use the shoulder, shoulder, go to right. Now when you go to left, you have to bend in your elbow. But this time, palm basically is facing in. How you turn palm facing out? Actually, follow body turning, you rotate arm. Body turning, rotate arm. And shooting out. Okay. Palm facing in. Palm facing in, right? Yes. Palm facing out, but the left still basically is palm facing in. And, uh, okay, I have to do it diagonally, right? Otherwise, it's going to be uh, confusing. Okay, so from here. And when you are start turning your body, rotate arms. And shooting out. Your face actually do have a little curve. Shoot out. Okay, so. So, so the, the left wrist doesn't. No, I don't want you. That's the problem yeah. because uh, we know, all know, at the end we need a palm facing out. But uh, uh, how you palm facing out? You know, something. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, you do this curve. Yes. They do, you know, this curve. Yes. You know, make a palm out. Actually, I want you go, little, you know, up curve, rotate, shooting out. Okay, how you rotate, pump in, pump in, body turning, rotate, getting pump out. Now it's time, <laughs> shooting out. Okay, 
So uh, if you do like this, it's basically you made this curve. We need to take care of those two things. One, you know, don't use shoulder too much. Okay, this time you need to bend the use elbow joint to do the rotation, shooting out. One is don't use the shoulder swinging too much the whole side. Okay, so uh, that's better. So it's kind of like using your palm edge. I, I will not I will not see like palm edge. But I mean if you No, nope, your... it's not striking yet. Not striking yet. When you strike, now it's <laughs> striking. So all here is a prepare movement. Prepare movement. Prepare movement. Now it's time for you to <laughs> to sending out the energy. Okay. So clear uh, how we do the rotation. Movement very small, but uh, a little bit difficult. Uh, another question? On a lotus sweeping kick, do the, do the hands contact the foot in front of the body or just to the side of the body? Uh, I would say it's more in the left side. Okay, so from here, on the left side, left side of your body, you cannot, you know, that's going to be too big. Uh, we want your finish leg back to the corner. Okay, so which is about in this area, left side of the body, to make a touch. Actually not. So from here, you know, you kick, go with it. Yeah. Next, one more question. When you do the lotus kick, <clears throat> is your leg straight or is it thin or is it bent? Which one? The swinging leg. Straight. You know, straight is a little bent. I don't want you to do it. Yet. <laughs> That's not enough. So basically, this swing is from hip joint. From hip joint, made this swing. Okay. Could you show the seven, punch seven star one hand? Right hand? Uh, actually, you need to pay attention because each time when you do the right arm picking up, you're too much from the side. I need your angle as you go down, sitting, punch. Okay, so you're watching me. So without snake grips down, you move forward weight. Actually, it's picking down, sitting, punch. Not side. Okay, even you are faced, no sitting at this time. More like a straight. Now you're getting sitting. Punched. Uh, too much. Somehow I think when we do the seven star, uh, this not available to do the punch. I want you, you know, think about the punch. Actually, it's a slightly sitting with angle and crossed like this. If too much like this, that's too hard. You know, otherwise, you do like this, this still is not correct. Okay, so sitting slightly, uh, that's good. And point up a little bit. Arms extended enough, but not that much straight. Okay. Can you talk about the left hand? The left hand is out here, and then it comes in and out. Same as the golden roost. Okay, so when you are at this time, when you move forward weight, actually body move forward, left palm position are not changed. That's bring, bring your palm getting close to your body. And then now you join the with your right arm, go again. So it's not intentionally left arm, go back, then go forward. It's a keep in there, moving forward. So in the, at the finish of that position, is most your, is your full leg, your left leg still, or is the weight split between your left and your right leg? Uh, 
uh, you mean the ending posture? The ending posture. The ending posture, okay, what is the weight? That's right. So most of the time, our empty stance are 70, 30 separated weight. So which is most of the weight is still in the back leg, but the empty leg still takes some weight to rooting it. If it's too empty, this is not very much energy in the top. You feel it's also too empty in here. When you root it, you feel you have a chi sink. You're kind of you know, sending out the energy. Okay. Eh, that's right. But the, the problem is, you know, I want you to put some weight to the front, but somehow, you know, <laughs> then you know this, uh, this kind of empty stance, then it's not correct. So keep empty stance, weight, you know, sitting on the 